All right, bro, is that clunking that you keep hearing while I'm driving my car? Is gonna be gone. We finally got the new sway bar links for the car. So there's the stock sway bar links that we had to bust the bushings on last time when we were installing the coilovers. Which we actually are gonna be installing coilovers on Chris's Miata. If you guys would like to go and check his channel out, he is finally going to be making YouTube videos again. Finally, finally. We got him there, boys. Not many people have the opportunity that he has right now. It's very, very difficult to grow on YouTube. So if any of you are trying to grow a channel, say it down in the comment section below, man. I have no issue trying to help the people out here supporting me, but if you comment that and you ain't subscribed to me, brother, your comment's getting deleted. So pretty much what we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw an 18 on here and an 18 on the back side here. And um, I mean, shouldn't really take too much to get oh, these off. Oh, let's uh, actually show the cords we were talking about with the coilovers that you have to unplug. Yeah, so you have a, an ABS sensor line and it just pops out and pops back in. Super nice and simple. Other than that, so that's what we were saying about how it's the exact same as the rear, but. As you guys will witness very soon here, we destroyed the back of those. Yeah, these things are pretty well. They're New Hampshire, right? Yeah, pretty well New Hampshire. I like that saying. I'm sorry, BRZ. Please forgive me. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that was easier than. It was way easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Something smells like ass. It wasn't me. No, it's, I think it's the mud. You want me to go grab a wrench? Um, yeah, actually. What size? 14 all the way through 18 or 17, whatever you can find. I was more so wondering <laughs> if I could hit my vape. Oh, that field. doesn't matter. You're not gonna get unmonetized for that. Ah, oh, shit. You know what really sucks about living in New Hampshire? Is that when you want to get new stuff for your car, you pretty much have to break the old stuff. We're finally putting the new ones on, boys. It's only taken us five hours. Way longer than it needed to be, but we, again, we live in New Hampshire, so. Remember that. Let's see, which way do these go in? Hmm. You're gonna end up going like this. Yeah. That's the way that they go. I'm gonna take the plastic bits off. Remember kids, if you ever install aftermarket sway bar end links, take the plastic covers off. I've actually seen people install them with the covers on, then wonder why their sway bar falls off 40 miles later. <laughs> Yeah, so. See, I'm not a car guy. Chris is all about the cars. That's why you should subscribe to him. He's just helping me out learn stuff about the cars. Yeah, and I mean, cars are all just a system of bolts when it comes down to it. Yeah, so we're going to... And handy freaking... That was like the other time with whatever, when we were putting the coils over, you thought of like fucking jacking up the spring... I don't remember oh, what it was. Hot. And toasty. She's warm. Really toasty, actually. <laughs> I hate how the screen goes off. Oh, dude. I, I hate it. That's why. Is that how high it's supposed to be only? Any any height. We can adjust it. All you got to do is adjust it. Just undo this bolt. 
Oh, sweet. So now we don't even have to take them off. Fucking the stock ones should be like those are. Pretty much. I wish. A pain in the ass, dude. Yeah, those stock ones. And I mean, then again, I have never done sway bar on links before. So I mean, maybe there's a super simple way and we've just done it the most we difficult just, way. Right? But as far as I'm aware, there's no easier way. I mean, you guys took the trip down with the, to Boston with me. That was the first vlog video on this channel. And honestly, probably my Super Dan channel now. Oh, fuck yeah, those are, those are in there. Well, that's it. Throw the wheel back on and we'll go to the other side. Cool. It's not the kind of cool. It's the difference. Look at the amount of like handling difference from like that is a big ass sway bar link. So, so, Show them. So from my understanding of this, the shorter sway bar. So first off, it's like two inches, right? It's like a two inch difference. And the, my basic understanding is if your sway bar is tilted up, it'll be slightly tighter, which ends up translating to better handling. Now I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I understand it to be. We just have these things cranked as low as they go. Right? I don't I don't think you have to actually sit there and adjust these 16 threads on each side. No, just send it. Crank cool. them down and send it. Yeah, we're just going to throw this wheel on here and think, think we're set. Move on Should to the other set? side. Yeah, you're going to need brakes soon. Well, not soon, but you're going to need brakes. New brakes coming soon, boys. Yeah, that's that's where it's gonna get to, cause the wood's in the way. Scared me way more than it should have. And now I'm gonna pull my front bumper off, backing up, right? Pretty much. Alrighty, boys, you think we're gonna rip her off? It's hot. <laughs> Have you ever driven a BRZ? I don't have the keys, Chris. <laughs> They're in the car. First just... time driving one, brother. Well, apparently this thing does not do very good in the fucking dark, but he has been driving it, bro. Literally. My phone is fucking dead, and my GoPro ended up dying as well. So we just barely stopped at Chris's, and he had a USB-C. We're just like literally recording off the charging. But what do you think about it, man? I fucking love it. Scary note right here. Always what your wheels? Tighten. Torque them. Torque your lug nuts. <laughs> yes. We, uh, <laughs> we, we may or may not have done, uh, we may or may not have gone down to Mexico and uh, may or may not have done a zero to a hundred pull. And then we pull back into the driveway and then Tighten the lug nuts by hand. <laughs> We're so, so lucky. See, that was so the reason that I don't slow the clips down is because all I'm doing is fixing a mistake. So when I like say that I'm scripting something and my voice cracks, and yeah, because it happens to me all the time. I'm 30 friggin' years old and my voice cracks all the time and it pisses me off. So I have to like Remember, like, if I script something here, like, I have to go back to where the last sentence was. Because wherever the period is, I always end up pausing. So I have to listen to myself. I have to go back to where the sentence that I made a mistake in is. And then, because I'm talking about so much crap in the video, wherever that pause is that I need to cut out, I need to listen to that first. So I know like, okay, this is where I start off and then I have to go back and freaking listen to where I fucking had to leave off to make the mistake, not mistake. 
Alright man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As if you couldn't tell, we just barely woke our asses up. Chris ended up staying the night over at my place. We're gonna try to go get a wheel alignment today, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What do you say next? Make sure you Mr. Guys... Up and Coming YouTuber. Come yeah. on. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you guys think that we could do differently in the comments down below. It's always appreciated. I mean, I'm no pro mechanic. Dan definitely isn't either, you know, so like stuff helps. That's yeah. for sure. Just having fun, two friends, messing around with cars is what we like to do. You know what I mean? It's really what this channel is about, having fun with friends, chilling with cars, you know what I mean? Just motivation for me, cars for him, you know? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.